Welcome to part 2 of Mythbusting Common PC Tips. In this video, I'll be benchmarking several Windows settings and in-game options that YouTubers and articles often claim will boost gaming performance. If you haven't seen part 1, you can find it on my channel or in the video description. For my testing, I used CapFrame X to measure FPS numbers as well as input lag. You can find out more details on my test setup in the description below. First, let's take a look at how overlays affect gaming performance. Game launchers like Steam and Epic Games have in-game overlays, and it's often said that disabling these will improve performance. From my testing, this doesn't seem to be true. Whether or not these in-game overlays were enabled had very little effect on FPS and input lag. These overlays have core multiplayer features like invites, so I recommend leaving them enabled. Next, let's take a look at optimizations for windowed games. For this test, I compared leaving the setting on versus off while running games in borderless mode. In most cases, it doesn't seem to impact average FPS or 1% lows. However, for Rainbow Six Siege, we see a big improvement for both FPS metrics. The same can be said for Input Latency, where the only game that had a significant difference was Rainbow Six Siege. So if you're running games in borderless mode, aka windowed fullscreen, it's best to enable optimizations for windowed games, since in the worst case, it doesn't seem to have any negative effect, but in the best case, the difference can be huge. Next, let's take a look at power options. On Windows 11, there are two places to change the power settings for your PC, and both behave a bit differently. You can either go to the control panel and choose between High Performance, Balanced, and Power Saver, or you can go to the Settings app and choose between Best Performance, Balanced, and Best Power Efficiency, but you can only change this if the control panel power option is set to Balanced. Stay with me now. So we have five power settings in total. First, let's take a look at the different options in the Settings app where the control panel power option is set to Balanced. There doesn't seem to be much of a difference between these three settings, except in F123 where balanced performance resulted in better performance. This remains true for input lag as well, but now with Civilization VI also benefiting. Let's now compare balanced performance to the high performance and power saver options in the control panel. The power saver option results in much worse 1% lows for Red Dead Redemption 2, Cyberpunk 2077, and F123. Overall, high performance and balanced performance are very close, but high performance edges out when it comes to input latency. For this reason, I recommend setting the power option to high performance in the control panel if you're on a desktop. For laptop gamers, it might be better to use balance since it performs about the same and might save a bit of battery life. Avoid power saver at all costs. Finally, let's take a look at system properties performance options. This setting allows you to enable or disable animations and change the appearance of windows, with some claiming that disabling all of these settings improves gaming performance. In my testing, I tried Let Windows Choose What's Best For My Computer, which is the default option, Adjust For Best Appearance, which enables everything, and Adjust For Best Performance, which disables everything. As you can see between the three settings, there's pretty much no difference in average FPS and 1% lows. When we take a look at input latency, it's the same story. Disabling all of these makes Windows feel really janky to use, and since there's no significant effect on performance, I recommend leaving it at the default setting. That wraps it up for part two, let me know in the comments if there are any other PC tips you want to see tested. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.